how to create a customer complaint or a rework uh, as you can see we'll go right here to this button we will press it and here's the list of all of the ones that we've created so far if we want to do a new one we click it here uh, the person that should be creating these should pretty much know the format of these not anybody could create them uh, report received by email or however customer name let's go with 360 for now automatically pops all the stuff that we have lot number pulperized extract for this uh, let's say it was either quality appearance packaging or other let's go with appearance uh, all this stuff whoever's taking on the complaint or whoever's creating the rework should know how to do uh, down here we'll let's go with whether there was a product returned if there was an RMA created or will be created we will need to upload it and uh, so please go ahead and click that and then you will get a second window to upload as you normally do in here the RMA number type it in uh, return for rework repackaging relabel destroyer other we work and then whoever you want to get this information uh, for now this is do for me then we'll create it as you can see it shows up right here uh, I didn't type anything in so it's not going to give you anything we'll go to my email and I just, as you can see I just got a customer complaint created with some information in there so once we will go back into it after we create it you see that it, it will have a click to the formula the lot number this is so that we can create the rework off of the original uh, batch lot code you can see that all the schedule remains the same nothing has changed as when we create when we finish this uh, batch the first time around notes capsule and all the timing it's there what you will see is a complaint ID and a rework ID which is basically the complaint ID plus the batch number uh, let's say the, the stuff is coming back to us we'll click a date that it's gonna come back let's say we're gonna start it a few days afterwards and we are gonna finish it a week after all that okay so you can always come back and change this whoever is uh, scheduling this uh, when we are done with the rework let's click this button right here and it will take it off the schedule uh, let's now go ahead with uh, all the information who requested it uh, financial who is gonna be in charge of of uh, collecting any monetary compensation for the rework if necessary uh, production approval and packaging approval uh, reason from rework and we'll just grab the information from the other place number of units requested from rework I mean they might not have to be the whole batch or it could be the whole batch and total hours spent total on units reworked uh, any notes or instructions for both and let's add the rework once you go into the schedule you'll be able to see that this rework is expected here on this date which is the 24th we are also expected to uh, do it on the 27th and expected to aid on this day right here which is I think March 4th all useful information and obviously we could change it around as as we do now with the batches but if anybody needs to know where each stage is at or when we expect to get things done you can come here this one right here Heromino somebody already did a rework starting date of this date when you create the rework uh, these people right here is already predetermined who's gonna get this email and all the information in there uh, batch number and who approved what and where once again useful information once again when you're done or when we are done in the field we gotta finish ship back and we are done with the rework